uh, hey guys so in this video we will learn what is data what are data types and what are variables so before jumping to the data types and variables i will cover what exactly a data is actually uh, everything is a data suppose if i am asking you what is your age and you are replying something with a number that exactly a data uh, suppose i am asking you your address and you are you are replying with some sentences that is again a data suppose uh, i am asking you a phone number and again you are replying with 10 digit number then again that is a data so exactly just like that uh, we have different data types inside programming so depending upon what we want to store and what we want to process uh, there are different types of data that we use inside programming uh, we will go one by one actually there are uh, there are user defined data types as well but first of all we will only focus on the inbuilt data types uh, actually there are six inbuilt data types which are widely used uh, inside c++ programming we will cover them one by one so just like writing okay i will quickly cover what is comment so here you can see i have written already written something right but if i run this program actually nothing will happen uh, here you can see no output is shown as well as no errors are shown uh what what do i mean by that is uh, simply i have commented this out uh for like for preparation preparation of this video it is very easy to understand and as well as it is easy to explain for me to have something already written inside the screen uh how to do it so just write forward slash two times and write anything okay write anything so whatever you write after the two forward slashes compiler will ignore this entire line okay but if you are writing anything here which is not uh, in a syntax of the c++ compiler will give you the error like semicolon missing uh, missing or unknown type name right or whatever it is but as soon as you comment it out that means uh, you are using two forward slashes compiler will totally ignore these lines so this is exactly the commenting of the code and that's why i have written now whatever i want to write to explain this video uh, in front of you uh, using the comments so yeah like first jump into the integer so what exactly a integer is integer is nothing but a whole number whatever that is uh, of whole number that can be stored into an integer again i will take example of uh, age what exactly your age that is a whole number right we can store it Uh, in a whole number so i will store that age into a uh, integer data type so let's compare with the gamified world uh, what exactly the integer inside games uh, actually what what it can be like just think in a direction of games uh, health can be an integer right uh, as well as speed what speed at you are running what speed at enemy is running at you what speed that you are running that speed is nothing but a whole number 30 km per hour 40 km per hour uh, km per hour whatever that unit that unit might be different but that exactly a integer right so what i will do i will simply create a variable of health and i will declare declare that health variable uh, the 100 value i will quickly show you how i can do it so first i need to declare the integer for that i use keyword int int and just name of the variable this can be anything this can be health this can be speed uh, this can be age this can be anything okay so int health is equal to 100 so when i write something like this uh, i am telling compiler that hey uh, hey compiler create integer uh, whose name is health and just assign that integer variable to the value of 100 you can't assign a fractional value it will give you a error because you are violating a data type you said that this variable is integer and you are passing it the fractional data that is not a whole number right um, so i will quickly show you suppose i pass some string into it what will happen again the error will occur because again you are violating the data type so the data type that you have declared must must be same that you are assigning with like you are assigning this data type with a whole number that is fine for the compiler but as soon as as soon as you change the data and that data suppose that data is not matching with that data type 
you will get error as simple as that so how to how to see this data to the console let's quickly look at it so i will write c out statement and i will say health of the player okay i will use colon so i want this value to get printed uh, on a console so just use two opening uh, angular brackets and just type health as simple as that and then end with semicolon so in this line what i am telling to the compiler is uh, first of all write this string uh, to the console and attach this append this uh, string with a variable of health so whatever value that i am assigning uh, to this health will get printed to the console on onto the console so just i am running the program so here you can see health of the player 100 simple right so this is how you can declare a variable this entirely acts as a variable okay uh, integer health is a variable int is a data type as simple as that understand the difference between data type and a variable this combinedly called as a variable and this is a uh, data type and this is a variable name uh, now what why we call it as a variable is because we can change this health right now suppose you have executed till line number 21 and right now your health got changed suppose you have received a damage from enemy so that's why your health become you can reassign it with some other value as 80 as well so first of all you declared health with 100 value and right now you are using that exact same variable and you are overriding that value to the, to the new value so i will again copy paste this line so right now new health of player so it will be very easy for us uh, to uh, to understand the difference so i am just using end l end line is nothing but slash n so i personally like using uh, end l at the uh, for ending the line it is also a line terminator you can use slash n for it as well okay that's your choice but especially if you are ending with a variable uh, and you want to end that line then you can go ahead and use two angular brackets two opening angular brackets and you can type end l okay so i am i'm just writing it new health of the very uh, new health of the player and again i am passing the exact same variable health so let's quickly look at the output now you can see health of a player is 100 and new health of a player is 80 that exactly a variable does variable uh, variable in the name suggests it can vary it has ability to vary it is not constant obviously you got spawned into a game right uh, in the at, at the time of spawning your health was 100 but definitely that health is a not a, not constant thing right uh, that is a variable suppose you are receiving damage suppose you are healing yourself then again your health will vary and as your health is varying unless and until you are using the exact same variable name the compiler will reflect the exact same data as simple as that uh, so this is how data and data types are combinedly uh, are combined to form a variable so we covered integer data uh, in a detail so just like this we have different data types that we will cover uh, in the next video thanks a lot